something into the East African community. community. And it's one of the lead numbers mm -hmm. in history, paper five. Mm -hmm. So we need to understand our question, assess the impact of the East African community. Where if a question comes, assess the impact, you need a standy mm -hmm. point. Mm -hmm. Decide why you have many points becomes to a larger extent. So we are saying the East African community was a regional economic integration formed in 1967. Of course, with the major aim of promoting unity, development, and everything. The big names behind its formation we had the Julius Nyerere, Tanzania, Jomo Kenyatta, Kenya, and Milton Obote of Uganda. So you cannot delete them from the equation. Mm -hmm. But our question, we are going to focus on uh, first the achievements, then failures, mm -hmm. basing on positive impact and then negative. Mm -hmm. So we are saying the community created employment opportunities, the East African Corporation, mm -hmm. because members within the community we are allowed to go. Someone from Uganda, you have to go in Kenya and you get jobs. Mm -hmm. And by this time, many people got jobs. Mm -hmm. Because if you failed in Uganda, you could easily get a job in Tanzania mm -hmm. or Kenya. And this was a great achievement. Mm -hmm. Then it created, the, of course, it created unity and cooperation between the three East African countries. Because all of the countries, in the agenda of the formation of the community, they were meant to cooperate and unite for a common goal. Mm -hmm. So people united, and they could meet in the meetings mm -hmm. to discuss issues concerning about development, mm -hmm. which was also a very great achievement. Mm -hmm. Then it set up the East African Development Bank with its headquarters in Kampala. We are realizing the East African Development Bank was set up and this used to give financial aid to countries within the region. Of course, you had to return the money. So it was within the region? Yeah, the within, within the region, mm -hmm. East African countries. Uh, Uganda could get money from the bank and develop mm -hmm. and in turn returns the money. Mm -hmm. uh, but of course, this led to development. Mm -hmm. Then it promoted the industry expansion in East Africa. Mm -hmm. Industrial Expansion. expansion. What's all about this? People are allowed to open up industries. For example, if you failed in Uganda, you could do easily to Kenya. to Kenya and open up an industry. Mm -hmm. And of course, people got employment opportunities. So that's why we are saying the East African community mm -hmm. tried to achieve. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Then it reduced on the levels of illiteracy through provision of quality education. How? like there was exchange program if you are not uh, you you didn't want to study in uganda you could go in kenya mm -hmm. exchange program lead universities like makerere and dar es salaam university mm -hmm. had that arrangement and this boosted the, the yeah. development yeah. because people had to get quality education then oh, we are saying it promoted research okay. in the field of agriculture because the community wanted to be self-sustaining, we are seeing research was encouraged. Like you don't just carry out agriculture, subsistence farming for eating, but the target was about business. So we are realizing people are encouraged to do scientific research, like putting fertilizers in the soil to get great yields. Mm. Then it reduced the levels of poverty. How? Because people were allowed to work within the region. If you failed to get a job in one country, you could easily get in another country. Then it linked East Africa to other international organizations, like a European economic community. By the way, this European economic community, it's, uh, it was formed in 1957 with a great aim of helping capitalist countries to develop. So East African community cooperated with the European economic community. Mm -hmm. And this European economic community used to give advice 
to the members of East African community because the other ones had a great experience and money mm. and this led to development. Then uh, it laid the foundation to the formation of the current EAC. We have the current, the current ESC, yes, East African. community. Got a foundation from the other one which collapsed in 1977 because the first one collapsed in 1971. But this one, which was revived by big brands in politics like Arab Moy, Museven, got a leaf from the first East African what? community. Then expansion in trade and commerce, where we are realizing trade and Commerce had it to be improved upon. How? In the way that we are realizing trade and commerce, members within the community were allowed to trade with one another, another with, a, of course, a mission to survive. Yes. So, in this kind of arrangement, we are realizing that the community had to, to, do, to lead to the development yes. because by this time, people got benefits, people got benefits. Mm -hmm. So uh, I'm emphasizing when you are writing an essay, mm -hmm. you, you remember we said the Kasoma Farouk of Uganda word, mm -hmm. Africa, attempt all the required questions, mm -hmm. follow instructions, mm -hmm. read extensively, improve on your writing, mm -hmm. concentrate on your work, mm -hmm. and attend to God. Of course, that is our belief.